Pleasure to see you again, mate. How are you doing? You all right? Good to see you. Very well, sir. So last time I spoke to you, cold set, snowy day in Watford. Yes. Yes, it was. It was freezing. Yeah, I was coming out of prison. Yeah, you were indeed. Yeah. Good memory, sir. Yeah. Today, nice red carpet. Do you sort of do you envisage, envisage this sort of thing when you're shooting? It's not what it's really about. I mean, it's lovely that people put this on and it's a great chance for people who sort of either are fans of certain, certain actors here or, or the film itself to come down. I think that's all lovely, but you don't sort of envisage all of this. It's not really, it's not really what it's about. It's lovely to be down here, but it's not what it's all about. So. And obviously the film looks, it, it's incredibly, it's glamorous, it's shiny. It's a really sort of, it, it doesn't feel as typically British as you might expect a British film to feel. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to define a typical British film. We, we have such a fantastic movie industry here. I mean, we've had some, I mean, you know, we've got some of the best crew members, like some of the best technicians in the world that come from this, from this country. And that's why you see so many American movies are coming over at the moment. It's, you know, it's not just because of tax breaks and everything else. We've got really talented technicians. And I, I think they are the front and foremost, you know, they are, they, they are the front runners of what makes this industry so fantastic. I mean, I think, I, I, I never know, I never know what so you know you've got to go just go along with the, the director's vision a lot of the, a lot of the time and having worked with Julian before I, I sort of believed in his vision and I went along with it and uh, I'm excited to see what it's like tonight really. Thank you. Thank you.